Well, you may want to turn away if you're having a snack because these are pictures of roaches found inside apartment buildings for college students in Amherst. It's a disgusting problem, and a student emailed us the photos hoping to help find a solution. She spoke with News 4's Emily Gugamas. Emily. Diana, the apartments at University Village at Sweet Home look nice from the outside. Inside, each bedroom features a bathroom, a major draw for college students. But something not advertised? Cockroaches that students say are crawling all over. The first night that we were here, my, my one roommate came up and he couldn't move in yet, and he had to sleep on the couch. And he said that they were there. He woke up in the middle of the night and there was like a few crawling on him. And he's not alone. I turn the light on, and there's roaches at my feet as I get out of the bed. Some University of Buffalo students living in the University Village at Sweet Home say they're sharing their homes with cockroaches and have been since the start of the school year last fall. I saw them coming through the electric outlets. I've seen them come through the smoke alarms, actually through the air vent up there. Exterminators have been out, and while there may be less bugs, they're still there. The students say they seem to be moving from apartment to apartment. The exterminator was coming consistently, and he, now he's not coming at all. He hasn't been here in a month. Jennifer Banks roughens cupboards or bare to try and keep them out. Shane Boyle keeps his clothes ziplocked in bags and food in Tupperware containers. Borax powder is spread in doorways and along the walls. They say the cockroaches come out at night when it's dark. So Tanner Merchant has taken certain measures to get a good night's sleep. I had a huge like spotlight flashlight in my room right next to my bed. And when I went to sleep, like I would wake up in the middle of the night and you could think you just feel them, like feel something crawling on you, but you don't really know. They say they've called the health inspector and Jennifer has been emailing management since the beginning of September. They said they would spray and each of us used to place tape on our bathroom doors. I'd come home and the tape was still there. But she says the problem still remains. It's, it's unbearable and it's getting to the point where we're at our wit's end. So. And I called the main desk at University Village at Sweet Home. They referred me to their corporate PR person from American Campus Communities who actually owns the complex. She has yet to respond. Reporting live, Emily Guggenmess, News 410. Thanks, Emily.